For nearly half a decade, the Industry 9 Torch has been at the top of the hub game. With high degree of engagement, a really reliable and durable platform, and 11 different custom colors to choose from, there wasn't much to complain about. But Industry 9 knows that just because it's good doesn't mean it can't be better. Introducing the Hydra, the new phase of hubs from Industry 9. Although at a glance, the Hydra looks almost identical to the Torch, outside of the hub shell and one bearing, everything in this hub is brand new. The biggest difference between these two hubs comes in the free hub and the drive ring. The Torch features six pawls on a 60 tooth drive ring. Three of those pawls would engage at one time, giving a total of 120 points of engagement, or three degrees. The new Hydra also has six pawls on the free hub, but has a 115 tooth drive ring and uses a six phase engagement system, where each pawl engages individually, giving a whopping 690 points of engagement across the hub. So my first thought was that only engagement from one pawl seems a little bit risky, but Industry 9 has explained that they use the inherent flex in the axle so that although one pawl is the primary engaging point, a second, third, and even fourth pawl will also engage as the axle flexes. It's easy to focus on the fact that Industry 9 went from 120 to 690 points of engagement and forget about everything else, but they also made a few other major changes on the Hydra hubs that increased both the bearing life and decreased the rolling resistance. By using the flex in the axle and putting on a new end cap system, the bearing life in the Hydra hub is actually much improved from the previous torch edition. On top of that, by changing the springs in the new Hydra hub and by having much finer teeth on the 115 tooth drive ring, the rolling resistance is also decreased. If there was one thing holding people back from buying Industry 9 hubs in the past, it was the noise. There's no denying that the torch was a very loud hub. If you like that loud noise, that's great, but one of the awesome things about the Hydra is that by changing the grease or the oil in the free hub, you can also make it much, much quieter. This Hydra right here is well greased, and as you can see, very quiet. At first, it seems like the differences between the Hydra and Torch are limited to the rear hub, but at a closer look, you can see that Industry 9 actually redesigned parts of the front hub as well. So with the torch, the axle from your bike actually sat directly on the bearings. But if you have a closer look at the Hydra, you can see that the axle inside the hub actually extends past the hub shell and right to the edge of the end cap. Now Industry 9 hasn't really said why they made this change, but presumably having the longer axle reduces the side load on the bearings and improves bearing life, just like we saw in the rear hub. So there you go. If you liked the torch hub before, chances are you're going to like the Hydra even more. Remember, for more great tech tips and other videos, subscribe to our channel, or if you want to hear about the new Industry 9 101 Hub, click right there.